We'll start off with the AFC title game. This one is at 2 p.m. Central Time on CBS. And my friend, the Cincinnati Bengals heading to Arrowhead to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are a seven-point favorite. Uh, regular juice on it, minus 110. Total is 54 and a half. Of course, the odds always brought to you by BetUS. That is where the game begins. Uh, okay, what so did, I, did you say the number was? I thought I heard the minus 110. Uh, it, it's seven. That Chiefs favored by oh, seven. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. uh, favored by seven. Total is 54 and a half. It, when I look at this, so we talked on the Monday morning show about our guesses for this, and I thought that it would be closer to five and a half or six. As I went back and looked, if you throw in home field advantage, all that good stuff, it, the line is exactly where it should be. I mean, it is dead on the number. Uh, let's let's go through some of these matchup breakdowns, okay? Uh, EPA per play, Cincinnati offense is number 11 against the Kansas City defense, which is number 24. Drop back EPA, so passing EPA, uh, Cincinnati offense is number 7 against the number 23 defense for the Chiefs. And rushing EPA. Neither one of these teams really rushes the ball all that much. Um, but, you know, Cincinnati number 21. Kansas City's defense is number 18. On the opposite side, Kansas City number 1 in EPA per play. Cincy's defense number 11. Uh, drop back EPA, Kansas City number 1. Cincy number 12 on defense. Uh, rushing EPA, Kansas City actually number 10. And Cincinnati's defense is number 15. Cincinnati is average at just about everything on the field other than passing the football, right? They are really good at throwing the football. Um, but when you look at, at last week's game between the Chiefs and the Bills, the Bills were great in almost every defensive statistical category, and they still could not stop Patrick Mahomes. In this situation, I thought really hard about going with the Bengals here, but man, it it seems like Kansas City has turned this thing on offensively, and I don't know that I don't know that Cincinnati will be able to keep up. I think it's going to be a barn burner. I would certainly lean to the over fifty four and a half, but man, I think I'm going to ride with the Chiefs. Like they have been on fire here lately, and and I can't ignore that. As much as I want to pull against them, uh, I think my money's going to have to be on Kansas City. So I am going to obviously go with the Bengals. Of course, um, I. I think this offense can score with the Chiefs. Um, I think the Chiefs getting stopped sometimes is a little smoke and mirrors um, and a little bit luck. Uh, and I could be wrong about that. Now, this Chiefs defense is is a little is a little touch and go here. They are really good at turning the football over. They are not always good at stopping people. Um, and and that is one of those situations where if you get the turnovers. It's, it's easy to win games. And if you don't, you, you can kind of get blown out. Um, so, th- so there's a gamble there. Patrick Mahomes just does not the football over. But that doesn't mean other people don't help. And, uh, man, I just I just think – we watched this game a couple of weeks back, by the way. Yes. And yes. Cincinnati won that game. Okay? So the idea that people think – because there's a large section of the public believes Cincinnati doesn't even belong in this game. And that the Chiefs are just going to roll them. And that could happen, all right? But the idea that, you know, these two teams played just a few weeks back, not not at the beginning of the season, just a few weeks back. And, uh, and, and so I know that game was at Cincinnati. I don't know that home field advantage is just going to matter at all. So. I mean, it, it certainly did not last week, right? We, we saw three of the road teams uh, go on the road and actually get wins. So, you know, I don't know that it's certainly home field advantage. It's normally baked into numbers. Um, but, man, when I look at this, I just, I, I'm just i having a hard time going against the Chiefs right now, although I am going to be pulling for Joe Burrow. I will, I will certainly say that. So that is, uh, that's the way that I'm leaning. I'll roll Chiefs. You will roll Cincinnati on this. Let's move to there, – There's a – hang on. Can I, can I talk about this yeah, one second? I yeah, want to talk ahead. about this game. There's Absolutely. one other factor that nobody's bringing up here, okay? And, and that is the – if you take Tom Brady out of this equation, if you take the Patriots and what they did for 20 years out of the equation, okay? And I know that, you know, that's asking a lot. and That seems a bit extreme and whatever. We're, 
we're assuming that the Chiefs are going to make it to four straight Super Bowls. Uh, this would be the third straight. Oh, well, third straight Super Bowl. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, fourth the straight last one was AFC title game in all. Yes. Okay. So yeah, like, three three like straight. I mean, that's just that's that's a, that's a lot of big assumptions. And I know that they're the heavy favorites, heavy favorites. And I know that that is the um, easy assumption if you've watched them play. But I've just been watching football for almost my entire life. And I we just don't see this very often. We saw one team do this. And so if the ball's going to bounce funny and go the other way, if, if the call is going to go wrong, if, you know, so many weird things happen in a football game to make one team win and the other team lose, to just work under the assumption that the quote unquote better team is always going to win, football's just not the game you want to play for that. Uh, you are not wrong about that. We obviously saw it last week multiple times, um, at least with the home field teams, right? I, I think we, you, you could maybe make the statement that the 49ers, when fully healthy, uh, could be a better team than the, uh, the Packers. Uh, I mean, the Rams, when fully healthy, Better team than no, the no, Bucks, no, 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 no. You can't do. You can absolutely get that for you. One hundred percent. The Rams beat the Bucks head head up earlier in the season. That argument can make. There's there's no argument that you can make with the Rams with the uh, Packers team and the 49ers team that the 49ers weren't head and shoulders beneath them. They were substantially less than them. If everybody is a hundred percent healthy, not happen. And you just can't hmm. make that argument. Okay? You just can't. The Packers well, were undoubtedly the best team in the league all year long in both conferences. Yeah, okay, okay. I, maybe. I just I look at, at total DVOA. I'm looking at numbers. I'm looking at, you know, all that. And I think... Well, know, I watch football. I don't do yeah. any of that shit. I watch football. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, that Packers team is substantially better than everybody else. And they were their body of work all year long. And it wasn't close, quite I asked. Okay, okay. I can get with you. I can get with you. Um, all right, so so the Chiefs offense that has been uh, awesome. I mean, just absolutely awesome since about week Unstop. four. Unstop. Uh I mean, would that be the best offense in football, you feel? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't think anybody's arguing that. Okay, so that's that's where I'm going with this. But hang on now. Hang on. It ain't, it ain't since about week four. Okay, it was about week seven or eight. Yeah, right? when they really started clicking in. Because right. I made I made a a large sum of money at the beginning of the season just with them just not being able to cover a game and everything was tight and everything was close. True, true. And even when they played against Cincinnati uh, later on in the year when they lost, you know, on the road, they still put up 31 points in that game. I mean, they still had opportunities yeah. to uh, to win that game. Their defense has been their, their Achilles heel. And maybe that's what this will be. Like, maybe the offensive line will protect. Who knows? Uh, but like I said, I'm going to ride with the Chiefs right now uh, in playoff mode. Uh, of course, Joe Burrow, undefeated in playoff games. That includes uh, bowl games, anything. Any kind of postseason game, Joe Burrow has not lost. So we shall see. We shall see. Since he is plus seven, you are riding with the Bengals. I'm riding with the Chiefs. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.